Welcome back to another video in this QuickBooks tutorial. I've made a number of videos now. It's really going on this tutorial. I do appreciate you watching these videos. I'm thankful if you've been watching this from the beginning. If you haven't done so, then please go back to the first video and go through the tutorial from the beginning of the tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start recording payments and receipts to and from the bank account. So in the previous couple of videos, I showed you how to view nominal accounts and also how to add new nominal accounts. And I added the HSBC bank account to the charts of accounts. Now that there is a bank account on QuickBooks Online, I can start making payments and receipts from that bank account. So I don't need to go to the banking page, I actually have to go to the invoicing page. So I'm going to record some sales receipts first. It's all very straightforward, just like everything else in this tutorial. This software is very user friendly. So we need to go to the sales ledger. So customers, we have our customer list. We have SM accounting. So we have some invoices here. We raised a credit note in a previous video. There's two invoices outstanding. If you need to record a payment from SM counting, so a bank receipt. All you need to do is find the relevant invoice and click receive payment. If you click on that, you're then taken to the receive payment screen. We have SM accounting, the customer at the top here. Payment date, let's say it was made today, which is the 13th of February. The payment method, we have card, cash, check, direct debit. You might want to add a new payment method. Let's say this was a BAX payment. So I click save, then BAX will always show in this list from this time forth. A reference number, you might have a remittance advice number or something like that. Deposit to HSBC current account. There are some other options here. If you've got a few bank accounts and you've added them, then they'll show in this list. As long as they've been put into the cash at bank and in hand type on the charts of accounts. So this is the account I added in a couple of videos previous. HSBC current accounts. If they're paying this invoice, that's fine. We just tick that. It's already ticked. 222 is the amount received. If they paid both invoices, you can click both boxes. So 342 would be the amount received. If they made like a payment on account, such as they paid 250, if you just put 250 in the amount received here, click tab, you can then allocate that amount to the invoices, so 222, and the remainder 28 you can put in there. And then you'll have this invoice cleared and 28 allocated to this invoice. But let's not do that. If I leave this page and we just clear the one invoice. So go to the customer account, click receive payment, put the date of the payment received, the day you hit the bank account, go to the payment method, I've put backs, deposit to the correct account. It was 222, it was for this invoice, that's great. Go down the bottom here, click save and close. This payment's been now added to their account and you can see that down here. It's with the 13th of the second payment of minus 222 against a positive 222 invoice. If I now run a statement for this customer, you should be able to see the invoices, the credit notes and the payment on the accounts. We have our three invoices that I raised in previous videos, the credit note I raised in a previous video, and now this payment on the 13th of 222 which gives them a balance of 120 now. So let me just pay that last invoice. Let's just say they made another payment later on in the day. This is purely just imaginary. It might not be realistic. So all we do is go to receive payment, enter the date, make sure the payment method and deposit to is correct, enter the amount and click save and close. In the next video, I'll show you how to record supplier payments from the bank 
or other accounts.